Hello, welcome to SimpleScuba.com. In this session, we're going to look at the Mara's Abyss 22 regulators. So let's take a closer look. So having a look, closer look at the Abyss 22, if we start at the first stage, you can immediately see it's a different design in terms of looks uh, when you actually look at the first stage itself. The way Mara's have designed this particular first stage is that they've cut away all the excess material. They haven't shrouded any of the metal with any plastic or anything like that. It's purely minimal design to try and reduce the weight, uh, get it as light as possible. It's obviously uh, great for if you're traveling where a weight restriction is critical. Still got all the same features, even though the materials have been cut away as much as possible. Obviously on here you've got two low pressure ports on either side and two high pressure ports, one on each side as well. The first stage comes in DIN, 300 bar, as you can see here. And also the 200 bar, or 232 bar, sorry, uh, A clamp version as well. Obviously exactly the same other than the connection type. So you see, nice small design, diaphragm mechanism inside, balance as well, so it's going to give you great performance. If we move down towards the second stage, we'll just have a closer look at the hose. The hose that Mario's are fitted to this particular regulator is a braided nylon style, so the actual braiding of the hose gives it a much better protection uh, against UV or other contaminants that can actually break down a normal rubber hose. Also, the burst pressure of these hoses is a lot higher as well, so obviously it's greater safety from that point of view. And the other benefit of these hoses is that they can be looped up quite tight, you know, and that's still not restricting any of the flow inside, so they're great for a uh, routing point of view as well. So, have a look at the uh, second stage. Again, relatively small second stage, using Morris's typical uh, technologies. As the valve comes in, you can see you've got an outlet on the side. This just helps improve the performance of the second stage by diverting some of the uh, incoming air directly to the mouthpiece. So you're getting a much better flow inside the second stage itself. Obviously giving you a much nicer breathe uh, when obviously you're using it. The other point of this uh, outlet is that it creates a vortex inside the second stage which is centered around the diaphragm itself. So when you're breathing, that vortex is created and it draws the diaphragm back down in towards the second stage, giving you much better flow. So it's a lot more breathable, a lot easier to open the valve. Have a look at the exhaust. You see it's, again, relatively small, but it's angled at quite, an, at quite a steep angle to divert the bubbles away from the face, so it's coming up in front of the mask. Obviously, it's a nicety for anyone that's into photography or videography. Just stops that um, distraction when in use. And you've got Myers's typical mouthpiece, nice, soft, black, uh, supple silicon, very comfortable in the mouth, not going to cause any irritation. So overall, fantastic set of regulators. Great for everyday use, cold water, warm water, whatever you want to use it for. Nice value for money, set of regulators.